So my question is, who's who's happy about this? I, I mean, I, I kind of am. I'm not against fall. I'm not a huge fan of winter, but I mean, it's you know, it's that time of year when things fall is the transition when we go from summer to winter. Strange things can happen. You can have ice storms. You can have severe weather. You can have snowfall, and then 75 degrees and sunny. It's a weird time of year, so I, I like it, um, but I'm not a huge fan of the cold, like the, the brutally cold, you know, like those Februarys where it's just, and I know that's getting closer and closer, so it's the only reason I'm not a huge fan of fall, but everything else around it is fantastic. That smell in the air, you know, the, the leaves and the, uh, the bonfires are happening and the pumpkins, and I just, there's a lot of good. There really is. It's just, I don't like really cold. So what's the forecast? Well, let's uh, let's talk about that. And I'm going to move myself down to the bottom left like that, because that where I was is where is where uh, yeah over over here is where uh, all the precipitation potential is in the Panhandle. So here you go. There's a, a frontal boundary right here. That's that's a, a stationary front. And you know why they call it a stationary front? It's, it doesn't move. <laughs> it's stationary. Uh, and that's where the precipitation is going to be in and around. See right there in the Panhandle and in North Central Nebraska, Valentine, Cody Kilgore, Mullen, well, maybe a little north of Mullen, um, Gordon, Rushville, Clinton, Shadron. I, yeah, I'm from out there. <laughs> that's why I know all these little towns. Um, and that's just, that's where the precipitation chance is, is the best. Along Highway 20 from O'Neill, Valentine, into the panhandle. This is Tuesday night, 6.30. They, they go away as soon as the sun goes down, and then that's about it. It won't amount to much unless you get underneath one of those uh, thunderstorms. Uh, and then as we head into Wednesday morning, maybe a small chance of some light precipitation in northeast Nebraska. Now for uh, precipitation potential, like I said, it won't amount to much. Anywhere from a tenth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. See this area right here? Uh, just south of Valentine, that might be a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Uh, but overall, not a whole lot of rain, and I know we need a lot more. Um, just going to have to wait. So it's unfortunately not gonna, not going to be a whole lot of uh, precipitation this week. Uh, for tomorrow, temperatures starting off comfortable, upper 50s, lower 60s, highs. Sure, it's uh, you know it's still that time of year. It's not fall yet. <laughs> 31 days, unless you're watching this on uh, on Tuesday, like Tuesday morning, then it's 30 days. So just heads up. Uh, a lot of 90s out there for uh, really the western half. Eastern half should be the upper 80s to lower 90s. So like Lincoln, Beatrice, February, Hebron, York, Seward, Nebraska City, upper 80s. Hastings, Kearney, but like Grand Island, Columbus, and Omaha, lower 90s. Lincoln specifically, a lot of uh, upper 80s and lower 90s over the next several days. Hey, that game is Saturday. You know what the temperature is going to be in, uh, in Dublin, Ireland for the game? Because it's 11, it'll be 6, 5.30, 5.30 kickoff their time, p.m., uh, so it's 11.30 us. Uh, it'll be probably around 60 <laughs> with maybe some light rain. I mean, that's football weather. If it was in Lincoln, chance for thunderstorms, 87 degrees. And because I'm the on-site meteorologist for the Huskers, that would scare me. Well, not, I mean, it wouldn't scare me, but I mean, I would be nervous about it. I would be like, okay, we may have to. Uh, keep an eye on storms during the game on Saturday, but not the case this week. But there's there's always the week. We've got a lot of games in Lincoln in September and October, and like I said, anything can happen in October, uh, September and October. So we'll see what happens. Uh, well, that's it. Um, I don't have much, uh, really, anything else to. Oh wait, hang on. I'm going to do something. There we go. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. I'm <laughs> just. I, this is this is fun for me. I'm just practicing doing stuff. So if there's severe weather events or anything like that, uh, I hope to do more of these like that, uh, especially during severe weather events, uh, snowfall events, um, whenever events. You know, it doesn't matter. So anyway, um, that's all I have for uh, for you right now. We'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow.